We're going to be deep diving into two of the biggest Roblox launches out there, Blockstrap and Voidstrap. If you're looking to boost your Roblox's performance, you know, unlock higher FPS and just customize your Roblox experience as a whole, I'm going to compare the two to figure out which launcher is best for you. Firstly, Blockstrap, if you don't know what it is, it's an open source Roblox bootstrapper and it has a ton of ton of designs specifically for PC users. To name one, you know, it unlocks your FPS beyond the standard 60 cap. Um, usually sometimes you can go up to 40, but for the most part, it's going to give you a refresher cap so a lot of you will be on 60 or even if you have a high refresh rate and you're stuck on 240 this lets you go beyond that and maximize your frame rate blockstrap also offers a lot of custom themes dark modes you have the ability to add mods you can tweak literally everything from textures sounds and there's of course a lot of features that the normal Roblox client does not have they have something called discord rich presence so your friends can see exactly what you're playing you can manage your fast flags very easily i've always thought that blockstrap had the best fast flags editor these are basically like hidden performance settings which Roblox doesn't usually let you tailor and i think best of all with blockstrap it lets you launch multiple robust clients or instances at once which for me was like game changing also i'd like to know that blockstrap has a very active community and i believe they bring out quite a few updates before we go any further how many of you have had awful internet lately I don't know, maybe something to do with the change of season, you know, worsening weather, or just something to do with everyone being indoors right now. It doesn't help that game servers are super unreliable, but thankfully, I gave Exalag a try and it immediately solved my issue. Exalag is the best software for reducing ping and latency, which works by putting you on the closest sub server to ensure you are connected as close to the action as possible. Best thing is that it's free and works for every game with 1,200 servers across five continents. It's also super easy to set up and use. Just head over to the link in the description and click download. And to prove how legit this is, I'm going to download it here again with you. Super, super simple. You just press next, 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 install. Within literal seconds, we're ready to go. I need to find my game. I'm going to choose our region. It's going to do this automatically for us. And then it's going to analyze the routes and put us on the best route. Just like that. Now it's found them. We're going to press apply routes. And it's been applied successfully. That's it. We're done. Good to go. Lower ping. There's even a network analyzer. This is actually news to me. I'm going to run it here. This is basically going to check generally if I have any internet issues. And if there's anything I can improve outside of the game. All right, cool. Everything is looking good. And probably one of my favorite things this software has on top of the ping stuff is you can actually optimize your entire system. Yeah, they have one click system tweaks. This right here. Reduce simple lag. Bang. Maximize performance of games. Bang. Keep all my CPU cores active to ensure maximum performance. Bang! I can even clean up my RAM here to get rid of unnecessary memory. So what are you waiting for? If you want a real and powerful game changer to reduce lagging games, honestly, it would be silly not to. Head over to my link down below. It's completely free to get started, but if you never want choppy gameplay again, exclusively for you guys, you, you can lock in a year of exit lag for less than the cost of a literal happy meal per month. So go ahead, use my link at the top of the description and enter code FETCH for an additional 50% off, exclusive to this video only. Now switching the gears a little bit, let's talk about Voidstrap. Voidstrap is basically a modern fork of Blockstrap. It's just redesigned with a bit more focus on performance and stability. So off the jump, for you guys that really care about your FPS and pushing or really pushing the optimization of your game in that regard, it's very, very good. You know, it has that fundamental FPS unlock feature, but it pushes it a little bit further because there's curated fast like profiles that specifically look at boosting your FPS, reducing ping even, and of course giving you smoother gameplay. Now I don't believe Blockstrap has these same profiles. There's no like default options you can set. You have to kind of do it all yourself. And not only that, Voidstrap, the flash flag management in general, the editor is way more user friendly in my opinion. Of course, just having these presets and these profiles again, it makes it so much easier if you don't understand anything about JSON files or just how to edit them in the first place. I think Voidstrap has a bit of a sleeker uh, UI maybe. There's also something called Theme Preview it makes things easier to navigate one of my favorite features is this hardware acceleration toggling it lets you literally optimize your entire roblox client dependent on your system they also have channel switching so you can go between roblox's you know production live the z live channels and i believe there's also an experimental like ai chat to give you things like optimization advice i think this is still in beta though i haven't really tried it for myself but that's really really cool oh and very similar to blockstrap you can also with voidstrap launch multiple uh clients or instances simultaneously so at one time but i will say voice trap has more frequent bug fixes or did at least have more frequent bug fixes so for me that multiple clients or multiple instances option is a little smoother than blockstrap now in terms of performance and optimization i'd say both launchers want to improve your fps uh, like that's a given you get better gameplay they let you unlock your fps
FPS, you know, tweak your fast flags. That's where most of the performance increases at. In my humble opinion, I think Void Strap simplifies this a little bit with, you know, the profiles. You can choose if you want to have max FPS, lowest ping, or even just like a general optimization. And they're very, very easy to switch between. Void Strap's hardware installation switch and better Windows detection, I think, contribute to better stability and consistent performance. Blockstrap does not have these features as far as I'm aware. From what I've researched and just the general sentiment I've had making videos on launches, most of you guys seem to think that Blockstrap, although it is very, very customizable, it can be a little bit complex sometimes for new users. And on the flip side, on the Voidstrap videos I've made, most people tend to express that it's very easy to use and it tends to give smooth performance with a less, you know, hassle, you know, less fiddling about. It's less of a headache. <laughs> now, in terms of quality and life and just user experience generally, Blockstrap is literal paradise for those, you know, power Roblox users, people that want to mod a lot. I think the custom sounds are better. I think they're even more uh, customizable. Uh, there's a Discord integration, multiple options to personalize the client. But Voidstrap for me just wins on usability. You know, it's a lot cleaner. It's easier to navigate in my opinion, especially for those newer users. And there's not much need for manual configuration. It does a lot of it for you, which is for everyone I think can agree that's very, very helpful. The channel switching feature as well on Voidstrap is insane. You know, if you want to go between different Roblox versions, if you didn't know what I did yet, it lets you go between different Roblox versions and you can kind of find which is more stable, more reliable. As of today, Blockstrap doesn't have that option. Uh, it expects you to stay on, you know, the default Roblox channel, which in some cases can worsen performance. Oh, and Voidstrap's AI chat, although I haven't tried it myself, it gives me the impression or hints at least that like future automation features or even more future automation features, which once again makes it super easy to use. It does most of it for you and Blockstrap does not have this. Now to conclude, I know I've been throwing my opinions around across the video, but what launcher should you use? I think it depends very much on your use case. Now, if you love to deeply customize your entire experience, you want to use mods, particularly if you want to use mods and you don't mind messing around with fast flags manually so you have to do it yourself and you're completely fine with that you're confident in editing your fast flags i think blockstrap in that case is perfect for you it's best for advanced users for the most part and modders now if you want a smoother user friendly launcher that boosts your fps uh and performance basically in like one click with ready-made profiles voidstrap is for you it's insane for if you're casual even competitive players that don't want to mess around too much you know you want those quick optimizations you want easy setup and some extra features that Blockstrap doesn't have, like the channel switching and the hardware acceleration options, which again are incredible for FPS, then you want to go with Voidstrap. So just to clarify, if you're new to Roblox launchers or you just want the best performance, just straight away, download, click, bang, best performance, minimal effort, Voidstrap is definitely going to be your go-to. But if you're more advanced, you care about modding and those little, little details, you know, Blockstrap may be the one for you.